Oh, wah, wah, wee, wah. We've got the Sailor 7 RX-7 driven by Colette Davis, fully coated with Expel Fusion. And then we also fully coated these badass rims all around, makes it easy to clean, super shiny. We tinted the front windshield with Expel XR+. Plus. We put a PPF in a few key areas. The roof is one of them. Colette likes to put her steering wheel on the roof when she's done with an event or a race. Um, so we wanted to protect the vinyl from the scuffing. We uh, paint corrected and then coated the rear glass to clear it up a bit. Looks a lot better. And then we put PPF back here so when she's shredding tires, she can shred and style without worrying about messing up the vinyl on this uh, pretty friggin' amazing drift car. And then let's not forget, we cleaned the seats with a steamer and then coated those as well. What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm in the 3500 because I'm picking up my Sailor 7 car from Premier Auto Armor. I dropped the car off there a couple days ago now because they are going to be coating my entire car with Expel products. I've partnered with Expel to help protect my car. We're putting the Fusion, which is like a ceramic coating that has to be installed professionally on the car. We're putting that over the whole thing. I know they tinted the front with this special tint that they have that actually keeps out most of the heat and UV rays. The Expel Fusion, which is their ceramic coating, that's being put on the entire car and that's going to help protect my livery that we've spent so much time putting into that and just making sure it's incredible with the launch of Sailor 7. The Expel Fusion is going to protect that, make sure it doesn't fade, block out most of the UV rays, and make it way easier to clean, especially when it's getting thrashed around with the trash. I know they also applied that to the rims to make the rims way easier to clean, and they also put protectant film, which I think they call, it's like PPF, they put that in places that are more likely to get damaged, so on the roof where I always put the steering wheel on the roof when I'm getting in or out. They also put PPF in the back rear fender area where a lot of tire smoke goes into because day one with the Protar, my other RX-7, day one on the track, my livery was damaged. Because I use bright colors, I use neon yellow, the tire chucking up and going across the rear fender leaves black marks and day one, like I said, my neon yellow was all types of messed up and I couldn't clean it. So. I'm doing it right this time. I'm going to do it protected early on, especially with how much thought and care that we put into this Sailor 7 concept and idea. And yeah, I'm really excited to see what the car looks like now. They actually cleaned up some other areas of the car, like they buffed out the entire rear Lexan which I didn't even think it was possible to get it as clean as they did. And they coated my seats as well, which are the custom status racing seats that are made with the vinyl. They put the coating on there too. I am super excited to go pick up my car. I'm in the 3500. I'm headed to Garage Life to go pick up the two car trailer and then we'll be on the road. <laughs> Yo, I am driving the two car trailer right now. <laughs> Just to give y'all an idea, here is the rig. Keeps going, keeps going, triple axle, and... touch it it's super slippery yeah very slick and so shiny and then uh like i said in the Look, video, you just see it on the video it's right? just gloss right. oh it's so good we did the roof there are a few areas where we had to cut around the bolts but uh the roof is actually a lot more slippery because it's ppf uh, that's right here that's so crazy right and you can't even see it like that's yeah. the mind-blowing thing it just there's a whole film over this and you can't see anything. Wow. And the seats are squeaky clean. Wow. Those are coated too. Wait, so this is coated with the fusion? Mm -hmm. The ceramic? Yep. It'd be a lot easier to clean them.
They look brand new. Thank you. Because I, I think I told you we just come back from the dino, so like there was a bunch of people in and out, in and, out and just yeah. like stepping on it with shoes. We also got the tint on the windshield. So that looks so good. Can't tell us there. I tried re, re, I don't know, bringing some life back into the dash, but after. Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, After that was a attempts. project. Yeah. That would have been. <laughs> yeah, I, well, I got started on the passenger side and I was just like, oh, just yeah? for shits and giggles, <laughs> let's see what this stuff can do. And it pulled out a lot of dirt, so. Wow. Uh, They're taking care of my car way better than I do. That's the PPF mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is what I was talking about, what got damaged on my other car, like yeah. day one, with like the tire chucking or pieces coming just here totally and smoked. It. it was like one session and. Well, I had neon yellow on the other car right there. One session gone and yeah. like stained and you can't really fix oh, it. So okay. now this will make the art last so much longer. longer. And then the, oh. we, we basically used a cutting compound and a microfiber pad to just basically take that top layer of whatever muck or guck got embedded in the, uh, what is it called? The laminex or? This is ridiculous. Yeah. I think this is the biggest transformation and I hope I have video. I mean, I'm sure I do in the background or something of what this looked like before. This was so bad. It used to you be tinted, yo. <laughs> you couldn't even see, like you couldn't even see through it. And I just accepted that. I was yeah. like, you know what? The lead sand, it's done for, like it's never going to get better. Well, and we then were, bam. They, we were sitting inside now. I was thinking about backing it out and I'm, I looked behind me. I'm like, that. I, can't, I can't do that. <laughs> So. Oh, you guys are crazy! Yeah, and then the rims are coated too. Well, and there was like stickers and crap, like done from stickers uh -huh. and build up back yeah. here too. So it was a lot easier to, to, to basically pull all that out. The stickers helped some, you can still see them where they used to be, but that's This is this is a hundred times better. Okay. This is like, Thank this you. is insane. Danke. Danke Shane. Mm. And, like and the same said, thing on the other side, right? Yeah, With the TPF. Can't even see there. where it's at. You nope. just don't know it's there. You guys also ceramic coated all the rims? Yes. Yes. And yes. So now that glitter... Glitter will, will last forever. <laughs> you know how slippery that is? Yeah. It's almost like touching oil, isn't it? It is. Or or a dolphin. Oh, I, haven't, know, I haven't had a chance a to, to swim with the dolphins. Oh, yeah, I lived in Hawaii when I was like 10, so no big deal. I just know what dolphins feel like. <laughs> right. Brag about it. What a weird fact. Yeah. I know. Fun fact. Fun fact, fact. I know what a dolphin feels like. It's so shiny. And that's, that's forever. Um, Wait, what? What do yeah, you mean? Well, it, the coating embeds itself into the material. It's glass and titanium particles. Uh, all you got to do is just use like a ceramic boost to maintain that. And conventionally speaking, over paint, uh, in order to maintain the warranty, you just come back to us once a year, and then we add the uh, top coat over the top of it, okay. and that seals in those particles, the base layers, which is what they like to say, uh, from getting etched away, and creates a barrier to where it's always going to be very slippery, uh, very hydrophobic. So we're going to leave you with a bottle of that. It's such a big difference too. But the whole entire wrap just looks better and actually like brighter as well. And the mirrors too. Mm -hmm. They're kind of like a dull plastic. Now they look a little shiny. Wow. Can you explain the process a little bit? Because, you know, you have to get this professionally installed, obviously. And it, it takes a while to cure or there's a yeah. time frame for that? Yeah. It, I mean, it, you know, it, it, to explain it, it, the process is very simple. Uh, we use a blue applicator plat pad. <laughs> we we drip the product onto it. We're actually wearing full face masks with a glass cover, um, just because you know it's a new technology. We, we want to be as safe as possible when applying it. Uh, we're wearing gloves, and as we apply it, it's very similar to the method you apply like a wax or sealant. However, it's not forgiving at all. If you screw something up, like a lot of guys will leave a smudge of wax somewhere and then you know even the next day come out and polish it out this that smudge is forever so you imagine how much a wrap like this costs for you to roll the dice on it you, you really need to be very meticulous very attentive to uh, the details of uh, uh, the coating stuff like that and this is the gloss version yeah. of then, the PPF exactly 
So you, you're not able to tell that it's on there at all. No. Uh, and then we're going to actually top it with uh, a coating as well, just to make it easier to clean. That looks so good. And you said with like the Teslas, you get better battery range because you don't have to, it's more efficient, right? In, in terms of if you, you're, you're thinking about the ceramic tint that yeah. we did on the Oh yeah, the, the tint that is yeah. all around on the Tesla and that helps with efficiency and power. Yeah. So basically because it blocks out 98% of infrared light uh, and it's a battery powered car, their air conditioner isn't working as often. Yeah. So there's less demand on the battery system. Even when it's parked and you're at work, uh, the air conditioner is working to cool the electronics in the car. So just having the tint on there, you don't have to worry about that range anxiety of, oh my God, I, am I going to have enough to get home yeah, yeah. today? Um, and we put it, we put that on the drift car because it's going to help keep me cool. Yeah. It's going to block a lot of what the UV rays and the sun, and I'm already going to be baking, like period, I've accepted that, you but this will AC. help. You need AC, I'm going to admit it, but at Can't least have it'll nice keep her from, <laughs> you know, UV light, get her, <laughs> keep her from getting sunburned. And, and it just and looks really cool. Well, I didn't yeah. know like what, like tint level it would be, or like I couldn't imagine it in person. And I kind of got a, a little visor at the top too. Like I think it, it looks way cooler it, it now. It does make it stand out a lot more. And the, the thing is, is the product works so well to where you'll be able to tell the difference of sticking your hand on the dash and then right outside the window. Yeah. Uh, and immediately feel the heat of the sun just like bearing down upon you. Whereas underneath this glass, it'll be, you know, cool as a cucumber. I love it. I can't believe the car has been transformed again. It literally looks so much better. Like, I hope it's translating on video, but this just looks insane. Like, yeah, you can see, like, the light hitting the gloss. It looks so good. Also, for the RX-8, for the Brat Bunny, I'm going to be bringing that car back here. And on that car, we're going to be getting the full PPF treatment like this Tesla has on it. I think we're still deciding if we want to get that gloss or satin, but I'll be getting the full wrap on the RX-8. For this one, we just wanted to do the Fusion ceramic coating on it and then only have PPF in those spots that really, really need it. The water will literally not, not even stick to it. What? That is so cool. When you wash it, all you really need to do is rinse it with water, uh, foam can in it. I mean, it's going to be hard because you don't have any windows. Yeah. I, I'm sure you have your own detailing process for these things. Dude, seriously though, this car looks so good. Thank you guys so much. I like, I mean, I didn't really know what to expect, but this, this is ridiculous. It looks so, so much better. And like I said, like this, this car is my baby and it's kind of a piece of art as well. So they're going to make sure that it just lasts longer. And I stay a lot cooler. <laughs> I drove the two-car trailer here. Oh, you did? Yeah, this is my first time driving the two-car trailer. Was uh, it as bad as you thought it would be? No, or? not that bad. And plus, like, Matt is a really good teacher. Yeah. So he just is, I was just asking him, can I really make this turn? Can I actually make it? But uh, I did it. I'm a big girl. Does so. everybody know that it's, uh, like, a manual transmission, yeah. 3500? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a... Uh, yeah, I'm still still learning, but I wasn't I wasn't confident enough to come here completely on my own. So See, that's a little. Uh, I don't know if I got uh, YouTube. You maybe can bleep this out with the crow noise, but that's a that's a load of bullshit. I got into this thing and oh, yeah, did holy you shit, man! Like <laughs> this thing has no forgiveness whatsoever. Oh, the clutch. Yeah, yeah it's no, literally it's like me, a yeah. two inch, you know, give, and it's like I want to go. Yeah, you know, honestly, I probably should have warned you about the clutch. Because even the clutch hits me a little off guard if you're just not used to getting uh, in it. But I, uh, I, I uh, my bad. It, it you figured me. it out, though. Yeah, I did. I did. I, 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 so yeah. You got it. It got me to, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and there's no power steering right now. Yeah, I know. So. <laughs> Get your workout in, you know, yeah. between having to jungle gym it in there and uh, now I'll, driving I'll, I'll it around. Driving it. <laughs> I'll never go jungle gymming in that ever again. Hey, but you did yeah, it. I, honestly, I saw they were posting on Instagram that they were cleaning this and detailing it, and then he got like stuck in there. But I didn't even, I'm so surprised you wanted to go back there because I just stuck in there. What are you doing in there? Oh, you're in it do you want help? This is a mistake. 
Are you claustrophobic or are you good? In uh, case you were wondering. I, mean, I wasn't concerned. I just wanted to see you. So oh, there you go. Oh, 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 we're making moves. Give me a towel. <laughs> we're making moves. Give me a towel. I want to wipe my sweat off the window. And can you get some Crisco too to make sure you slip down? <laughs> We'll see. Like I, you gotta. Uh, you know, do I put Dalton or Phil in there? And then I thought, well, you know what? Do do I really want to, you know, uh, get tetanus or have one of my guys do? <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, ah, I, I'll go you do it. Yeah, yourself. I was like the captain of the ship and uh, well, jumped thank you in for your and, sacrifice. Yeah, it wow. has clearly paid off. Yeah, they did most of this in like a day. They're crazy. Like right when I left. They were already posting a couple hours later on Instagram, like, oh, look, we're done with this. We're done with the ceramic. So, no, you guys are amazing. Thank you. And thank you so much. I love it. I can't thank wait you. to bring my R8 now. Nick's pulling the car out. I think he's waiting for me to drive it the rest of the way. My battery died just as we were leaving Premier Auto Armor, but I got the Sailor 7 car back home, safe and sound. Even in low light, like there's, if the light is really low in this room, and look at that! Look at that gloss! You guys, it looks so good. I don't know why, I just never thought that a coating or a film could make a livery that was already glossy look so much better. I am I'm still mind blown and I love the look of the car with this tint. I cannot believe that the rear left stand is see-through again. It was so bad. And like they mentioned, you know, it's just gonna make cleanup from track days much, much easier. It's gonna help prevent any staining on this back rear panel here from tire wear. And yeah, the seats look brand new again. This is just so awesome. So thank you to Expel for partnering with me on this car and to Premier Auto Armor for the amazing install. It looks so good. And like I mentioned earlier in this video, I'm gonna be bringing the Brat Bunny to them as well. So for that car, we definitely will go a little more intense on the tint, probably do maybe almost as dark as possible all around, I don't know. We'll, we'll see, I'm sure we'll, we'll play around with a couple different options, but the car is almost ready for the track.